Hey guys, so uh, this video uh, is going to be my sort of top 10 honorable mentions of uh, 2017 for best album. And um, this is sort of like the top 10 albums that didn't make my top 10 list. Uh, the interesting thing about this year is that because of my job working as an album reviewer for UltimateGuitar.com, I've had a lot of albums come my way. So I've had a, a lot of opportunity to listen to lots of different albums and write my opinions on them. And I thought that it would be really cool to sort of maybe make a list of 10 more albums that I really liked because there were a lot of really good releases this year. So I'm going to start my list with number 10, Evolution Uprise. Um, this is a project out of British Columbia started by um, Dallas Turner. I believe he has a studio guitarist whose name escapes me at the moment, but um, this one's a really interesting project because it's a mixture of deathcore and electronic dance music. And those are two genres I wouldn't normally consider very compatible with one another. They're not something I'd typically think go together well, but um, they managed to make this work. And they managed to make it work very well. Um, the only band I can really think of that's done something like this in the past was Korn with their uh, experimental sort of dubstep record, The Path of Totality, um, and Evolution. Uh, did a very similar thing with Uprise, executed it well, and, you know, I think this is probably where the future of metal is going. Uh, number nine, I have to give that to a local band, something that I do try to include on a lot of these top ten lists, and it's uh, Desolate State's Creatures One from Below. It's a six-song, five- or six-song EP. Um, these guys are just incredible. A uh, very sort of classic metalcore sound. Um, nothing really too extreme or proggy, but uh, these guys just do some really good riffs, put on a really good live show. Um, super tight band. Um, they're, one of their guitar players, Tyler, is a close friend of mine. Uh, I gotta give a shout out to Desolate State. Uh, you guys absolutely nailed it with Creatures One. Uh, number eight goes to a band from Australia, and there's a lot of really good bands coming up from Australia these days. There's actually another Australian band later on in this video, uh, and it's Ghost Mile by Voyager. Um, these guys have a very interesting sound that kind of mixes uh, very 80s kind of synthy, synthwave kind of material with modern sort of gent, and... Um, it, just like the Evolution album, these aren't two genres I'd normally consider to go together, but they managed to pull it off brilliantly with this record. And um, it would probably be a little higher, might even have made the top ten had I discovered this album and this band in general a lot later on, in, or a lot earlier in the year. I discovered these guys quite later on. Uh, number seven and number six actually both come from the same band, and that's Mastodon with Emperor of Sand and the Cold Dark Place EP. Uh, I'd put the Cold Dark Place EP above uh, Emperor of Sand. There weren't really too many good songs on Emperor of Sand. Uh, to be frank, Mastodon hasn't really impressed me much since uh, Crack the Sky. But um, Emperor of Sand does have a couple of really good tunes like uh, Andromeda and Clandestiny. Jaguar God's pretty good too, uh, but Cold Dark Place is a four-song EP that's uh, really probably one of the best things Mastodon has done since Crack the Sky, and uh, I really got to give them credit for doing something really good with that uh, with that uh, EP. So go Mastodon. So number five goes to Intervals: The Way Forward. Um, another sort of instrumental, uh, gent, well, they haven't really been gent for the last couple albums, uh, all their music lately has been six string standard tuning, um, instrumental guitar work kind of in the same vein as Steve Vai, Joe Satriani, um, what makes this album really good is it's kind of 
uh, got a little bit more of a nostalgic element to it. Um, the album cover itself actually did a great justice of putting this on the list. I probably would have rated the album higher had I actually had the opportunity to spend a little bit more time with it. It only came out a couple weeks ago, and I haven't really had much of a chance to listen to it. So, uh, yeah, intervals. Number four, Need, Hegayamus, A Song for Freedom. Um, it's kind of an interesting thing where that whole Euro prog metal thing isn't really around much anymore. You don't see a lot of new bands coming out, and for people who think that that style is dead, um, you're mostly right, but there are still some bands that uh, are coming out with new and relevant material in that genre, and Need is one of them. Um, a Song for Freedom, I'm mostly giving a high grade on the strength of its title track, the epic 20-minute album closer that closes A Song for Freedom, and it's a just an absolutely epic song. The rest of the album has some really good moments as well, though, and uh, this is just a really great sort of example of a latter era sort of Euro prog metal style that isn't really being done by a lot of guys anymore. So number three on the list comes from Australia again, and that's North Lane with Mesmer. Um, the band uh, released Node a few years back, and that one was, to me, a really, really good, potent, powerful record that uh, sort of saw the band shifting a little bit past the, you know, architects, metalcore worship kind of phase, and into a style that was a little bit more progressive, a little bit more ambient. And I find that what Mesmer did is it kind of brought the band a little bit back into the metalcore kind of style, but without losing the things they had learned doing Node. So they still kind of maintain a bit of a sort of a progressive edge to their music. Um, there's still a very heavy emphasis on clean vocals, which there wasn't on their earlier material. And uh, the guitar parts are still very much in the same vein as Node, but uh, the songs are a little more concise, a little more self-contained. Um, just a great record all around. Number two is Chon's Homie. Um, Chon is kind of my hipster discovery band that I've known about since forever ago. Um, I actually found them back when they still had a pure volume page. And um, it's been making me just so incredibly happy to see this band actually come up and become a very popular group in their genre. It's it's something I, I would never have really considered seeing before. But uh, Homie uh, is a really good record. Some very good, like, feel-good summer songs on this. And, I mean, it's the summer album to end all summer albums. Uh, this, is the, this is the record you put on at your summer pool party gathering and, uh, you know, have a couple drinks around... Uh, you know, a campfire or something, too. It's just a great feel-good record. So that brings us to uh, the number one honorable mention, the the best album that didn't quite make my top ten list, and that would go to C2A's Senpai EP 2, The Noticing. Uh, that one just wins on having the best title alone, but uh, the formula that C2A did for his uh, Senpai EP uh, which is now a series, is uh, sort of writing these instrumental guitar pieces that sound vaguely like anime theme music and uh, releasing them on YouTube with accompanying manga images and uh, stories. And uh, the first one was just kind of a, let's put this out there and see what happens. You know, it wasn't really meant to be taken seriously, but... Uh, people seemed to really like it and asked him to do a second one in the series and that's where the uh, uh, Senpai EP 2 came from. And it is 
uh, an absolutely worthy successor to the first one. Um, some pretty good tracks. I, I had the opportunity to see him live back in uh, August, and uh, they performed the shit out of the tracks from that EP. Um, very, very solid EP, but uh, yeah, you know, it's it's Situ A. Uh, he's just an incredible player, a very good producer, and uh, you know, it, absolutely worthy of being the best honorable mention of this year. So uh, that means that my next couple of videos will be focusing on the final top 10 list. Uh, I will probably be doing them as a two part sort of video series where I'll do numbers 10 through 6 in the first video and then my top five for the final video. So, uh, thank you for watching and uh, my cat's being a butt again. So, I'm gonna have to go pay some attention to him.